Welcome back to the podcast. Hi, my name is Mark, and that was Zoloff, the Rock and Roll Destroyer. Uh, I'd like to talk to everyone about an artist that I think is really amazing. His name is Mac Primo, and you can check out his website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.macprimo, that's M-A-C-P-R-E-M-O dot com. And he and a bunch of, uh, he and three other artists did this project called Book, where what they did was they had a book that they would send back and forth uh, between the four of them. Two were based in New York and two were based in Belfast. And each of them would have the book for a week. And what they would do is do a work of art on uh, two of the pages of the book and they would send it out to one of the other artists to have for a week. And they did that for almost a year, I think. And you can uh, check out the book at the website is http <laughs> colon <laughs> forward slash forward slash www dot Look at book.com. That's H T. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, check out Mac Primo's art. He's amazing. Uh, I went to the opening of the show and I got to meet him, and he's really cool. And all the artwork there was amazing. And I talked to him, and he might be collaborating on some Atticus clothing designs in the near future. So, hopefully, we can hook that up. And at this point, I would like to invite you all to uh, hop in the car with me and drive over to Taking Back Sunday's studio where they are starting recording their new album. So everybody, here we go! Uh, okay, hi everybody. We are here at Taking Back Sunday's studio deep in the heart of the Hollywood area. You guys are uh, starting recording today. I'm going to do the entire interview for you, answers and questions, and at <laughs> nice. the end you'll confirm whether or not it's true. Pressure how, is off. How cool. are you? Good. Is True. 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 Yes. Great. <laughs> um... So you guys are starting recording today, is that the deal? Uh, we started doing some drums, drum sounds and drums yesterday, which was a whole lot of sitting around for us, but today will be full throttle drum action. Oh. Full throttle? Yeah. I'm joined, by the way, from Taking Back Sunday with Matt and Adam. Sorry, I have to introduce everybody, right? Oh, yeah. That's Adam. Yeah. And that's Matt. Um, and where's Mark right now? He's not here. And you were telling me where he was earlier. Where is Mark he's right on now? The, uh, he, he's on the elliptical at the gym. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah. He's no, warming up. He's been doing good. Like, he started off doing, like, 20 minutes, but now he's up to, like, 45. He, that, he, that man is, is a machine. Yeah. Right? Oh, a machine on the machine? Yes. Yeah. Very cool. And you guys are staying out here in L.A. How are you enjoying so, so California? Enjoying. Good. Good. It's um, sunny. Except for today. Yeah. Today it was pour- it was pouring rain. Yeah, we've been here for like three weeks. It's been gorgeous the whole time. Today's the first day of rain, but I think it's only raining because you did that weird thing, that dance. Yeah, that dance, the voodoo <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the rain. Had dance, you had pants on, yeah. it would have been fine. Yeah, I did a rain dance and it kind of came through. So I won't do it anymore, though. Sorry, Los Angeles. Yeah, it's all Matt Rubano's <laughs> fault. I was talking with your manager, and she said that uh, you guys were renting some apartments out here, but apparently in your guys' apartment that you guys share. There were two beds, but you had requested that one of the beds be taken out. Well, yeah. we yeah. figured there was like a level of closeness that we really wanted to come across on this record that we didn't feel like could happen any other way unless we were actually sleeping together. Yeah. Right. Sometimes it's, you just got to sleep with the dude, you know? Yeah. Right. You to get to, to get to know a dude, you really got to sleep with him. Now, is this yeah. the reason why, and you can confirm or deny this rumor, but the <laughs> album title is tentatively called Buns to Guns right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, yes. I would like yes. to half confirm and half deny, <laughs> if I can. Um, let's see. What were the other questions that I had in the car? You mentioned the French Revolution, but if we I could, did, if we could uh, skip that, that'd yeah, be great. we did have a lot of questions <laughs> pertaining to uh, you know world history, uh, major events throughout history, the French Revolution, things like that. But I think that in the interest of keeping the podcast under an hour, that we're going to mostly talk <laughs> about your band and things that you're interested in. That would be cool. Um, so, what's the sound of this record going to be like? When we were enjoying a fine dinner at the Grove the other night, you oh, were, yes, <laughs> yes. you were talking about how uh, it's going to be more rock. I think so. Yeah. It's interesting. I want you guys to go out and explain exactly on the first day of recording what you think totally. the record is going to end up totally. being. <laughs> and then uh, when the album comes out, we can compare and contrast. Totally. <laughs> it's going to be really, really... Uh, well, we don't know because it's not really done yet. But what we've been working on is sort of like... I don't know. A lot of the tracks are ending up sounding kind of real fast and aggressive, but without being heavy, mm-hmm. per se. You know what I mean? Like, And this is, you know... You can, it's kind of like cold but hot. Yeah, kinda. it's like it's like aggression without really being blatantly aggressive. Okay, kind of, you know, like maybe coming from 
Tall like, but short. Tall. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but in my head, <laughs> this is this falls under that category of like listening to artists talk about themselves is really dumb. So, I don't know. We've been having a good time. We're all really into what we've been writing and recording, and the demos sound great. I'm I'm really stoked. Are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Good. No, like um, I think I think with um this one, we had a lot more time. Like like um. And that seems to always be a big thing with us. Like, we're the kings of doing everything as last minute as possible. Like, um, and uh, so this time we had a little bit more time. This mm -hmm. time we had more time. And different, and, uh, like, yeah. different situation as far as the, you know, logistics of making the record are concerned. Like, you know, from... You yeah, know, like, they let me eat food this time. Yeah, <laughs> we, we did a little, a, a quick record label switch in between, so it's a little bit more of a comfortable situation right now for us to really make the best music that we can right. without sweating, you know, stuff that the business folks are supposed to sweat. Do you have an, a lot of time to record this album, or do you have pretty much free reign to do as you see fit? Uh, they gave us until 2007, I think. Seven? I thought it was eight. Well, to come out in... Will be done in 2007. Seven, we'll oh, and then it comes out. Yeah, it coincide with the Olympics. Or? <laughs> yeah, yes. totally. Yeah, dude, how would you? <laughs> Hello. Uh, no, we're. we're I, we, we would like it to come out in the beginning of, I would say, 2006. But we're not really trying to take forever, and we're not trying to rush. So, right. Like we said, we just have. It's just real comfortable. We're moving along at a good pace, and and really ha having fun. You know, we haven't not, we haven't had a moment of unfun since we started. So right. it's been really cool that way. What did you guys uh what did you guys do in your time off after the last tour before getting into the studio here? Anything exciting? Cool? Did we have time off? We wrote According like, to Brennan, yeah, you guys yeah. had almost two months off. Yeah, that well, we spent that like beating one another up five days a week in a writing yeah. studio. Oh. Yeah, like we got this rehearsal space in Manhattan and just uh just we were there like every single day all all day long but then on the days we weren't there it was um like i was just getting to know uh, I, don't, I don't know the bars in manhattan to erase, <laughs> to erase my memory to get, to getting to know them better <laughs> yeah that was that that time time off with us is kind of like a loosely used phrase so we're, we're uh -huh. we've been working on something or other with the band in the, for the last two years pretty much non-stop with a couple of weeks here and there but i can't complain about that at all you know yeah um we're gonna play 30 seconds of air operator right now check mm. it out okay that was uh that was awesome fellas hey that 30 seconds was to die for Ooh. hey well, really good I, it, it's a it, it's i don't i don't think you could squeeze any more awesome into that 30 seconds no. yeah that's on no. the fantastic four soundtrack is that correct yes very yes. cool yeah you should did you see the fantastic four movie i have not seen the fantastic four movie i have a three-year-old so yeah. the movies that i see involve like uh singing bunny rabbits or like uh, <laughs> sponge yeah, sponge uh, talking sponges yeah so uh, we're yeah. serious comic relief in that movie. Yeah, we all went to see it super stoked that we were going to be in a movie, and it was like less than a two second bit, and it was just the it was like going to something and then getting your balloon deflated. <laughs> yeah, it, like like it's no, but it's funny. Like it's it, now don't get us wrong. We're not complaining. Yeah, it was cool at all because it was like because it was in there. You know, mm -hmm. it's freaking awesome. Can I say? I'm not sure, but please do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, and uh, and um, but so the song's in there for like maybe like thirty seconds, maybe just the clip that you play 30? now. Dude, the song's no. in there for like four <laughs> seconds. No, man. but it like skips. It skips, but it's so like, it's like Adam it's says like, two words. It's like we can't. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the thing like sits down on a chair in a bar and it makes the record skip and that's that. You know? oh. Some 41's in there for like a minute and a half rocking out during a snowboarding sequence and we're Dude, like the comic relief. that's because it's an extreme it's an snowboarding extreme sequence. sequence. Yeah, so you need an extreme rock song. Yeah, but we were excited that. to be a part of it. Thank you everyone over there in movie land. Yes. Um, that's here. We're, we're in movie land right now. Yeah, that's right. You guys, are, you guys gotta go to Universal Studios. Yeah, and actually see we, the uh, Psycho House and movie sets, and I remember it all from that episode of Different Strokes back in the day. So. It takes different <laughs> strokes. That's the one. Um, I would love it if you guys would uh, let some. Out? No, dude. <laughs> well, if not that, then uh, if you guys would be uh, willing to perform some of the songs that you're recording oh. coming up, just okay. just Acapella? hum a few bars, let people yeah. know what's going on. All right, uh, okay. which song and which parts should we do? Um, Let's do Ghost. That's easy enough. 
Okay. Do, do you want to do the guitar and I'll do the drums? Okay. All right. <laughs> ready, ready. This isn't actually, this is going to be 30 seconds of what potentially could be the first song on our new album. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Uh, you want to give me a count? You're the drums. Boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, boom. Oh, wait, no. Keep going. Dude, <laughs> I, dude, I totally messed up. Okay, and then, okay, but then the bass goes, boom, and the drums go, boom, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, 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 ding, boom, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, boom. And then it that comes in. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Seriously. Thanks. Thank you. See, Warner Brothers, aren't yeah. you proud of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... It's yeah. hard, but that's actually how we, or how, how our writing process goes. Like we've been here for two or three weeks doing pre-production, acapella jams. Yeah, and we just all get in a room. That's Everybody cool. hums their individual parts, and then we'd go from there. Instruments come way later, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like <clears throat> yesterday was the first day. I think Mark even yeah, went near a drum. Like we didn't even have the drums set up right. really yesterday. Acapella, group yoga, instruments. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for, uh, for only being... the hot, sweaty kind of yoga, <laughs> like the kind. Oh, the kind where they heat up the room. room. Yeah, yeah. Bikram yoga. Yeah, I've I've yeah. done that before. Yucky. Really? Yeah. Dude, how could you go into a sweaty room like that? I don't know. You're not it, into stuff. Like I know that. it really oh, affected yeah. me in a really awful, yeah. <laughs> awful way. Yeah, you <laughs> must have been on OC factor ten yeah. million. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I hate germs, and I, <laughs> I just I hate coming in contact with any other human being on the planet. So a sweaty room full of other human beings really uh, hell, it's hell for yeah, you. Yeah, it made my day really, really they, not good. Because <laughs> the because because the show we played with you guys, I remembered we were throwing cake everywhere, and it you weren't even the concerned about the cake being like in <laughs> in your base or anything. The the only thing you said was. They put their fingers in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Which I thought you liked. Yeah, I got a I got a good story for the uh, for the uh, for the germ thing that I have. The other day, I was on the Adam Carolla show, and we were doing an interview. And Adam's a, a friend that we've through Blink been on uh, Love Line a lot. Adam's really cool, so he asked me to do his new show. Of, I said, of course. Yeah. And we're doing this interview, and then uh, we break for commercial, and you know we're kind of sitting there during the commercial break and I'm drinking my water and I'm talking to Adam and I go to set my water down and there's already water in the space where I was and I realize I'm drinking out of another man's glass. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you like pure, pour like Purell into it or something? No, I wish I had my Purell. But you know what? I think it makes me stronger as a person and I'm just persevering and taking it day by That's day. Awesome. You know? Yeah, man. No, no. Hey, it's speaking, of, uh, speaking of germs, can I say hi to my cousin Daniel who's sick right now and a huge fan of yours? Oh, absolutely. You could say of hi. Your, of your, of your well, podcast. Well, you say hi to him. Music. Yeah, he's a fan of the podcast. He hates your band. Oh, but, cool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, Daniel, <laughs> hi. This is Mark and I uh, hope you feel better very soon. Thanks. He'll, and, he's going to be stoked about that. Yeah. All right. So these guys are going to go in the studio and uh, make rock history. And thanks uh, for having us. Th thank you for being yes. part of this. Thanks. Before I go, I want to play a song for you by a band called Something for Rockets, and this is their song called.